Hello my Raising Wellness Beauties and welcome to our April New Moon Meditation. As always, we're just going to give you a little bit of information and insight into the energy that's happening right now. If you guys haven't seen the April Tarot card reading that I did for this collective community, our collective consciousness, then make sure to go look at that video. It has a lot to do with the energy that we're going to be feeling around this new moon. I will link it in the description box below. But without further ado, let's get into this new moon in 15 degrees of Aries. It's a really big moon, you guys. A lot of changes, new beginnings are happening, so make sure that you are just allowing yourself to stay grounded and to really dive deeper into those layers of yourself that need to be seen and heard and integrated, lessons that need to be seen and heard and integrated. We touched a lot upon this in the tarot card reading, so like I said, go watch it. If you haven't, it's very much in line. Some special things that are happening with this new moon in Aries is that Pluto, Saturn, the south node of the moon are all in Capricorn energy. So with these um, placements, with this placement of a lot of Capricorn energy, it's really going to make you see front and center clear without a mask what is happening in your life, what um, is happening in your shadow self, what are those inky, darker kind of parts of yourself that need to be seen. Uh, it's really going to bring to light what it is that is limiting you. So whether it's a mindset, a story, a person, it's really going to make you see where you're limiting yourself and what old versions of yourself you're carrying, you know, what old stories are you carrying that are no longer serving you. And this is a lot of what we are attempting to do in the Mindset Clutter Cleanse this month. So I think it's cool that we're kind of riding this wave of really delayering ourselves from old stories, old judgments, old mindsets, old thought patterns. This, there's this Capricorn energy here that's going to really make you see that and to have no excuses to actually stop stopping yourself, you know, actually express yourself authentically as you are without that facade or mask that we tend to put on to feel comfortable in the world. It's really going to make you see what excuses are limiting you, what things are limiting you, and it doesn't want you to do that anymore. It's really going to be like, all right, are you going to show up or are you not going to show up? And this, um, with the South Node in Capricorn, it's a lot about discipline and showing up for yourself, but that means that the North Node is in Cancer. So using this discipline and showing up to help serve the greater collective, the um, help serve others in that nurturing kind of Cancerian way. The Aries is very much this first house of astrology. It's the new beginning, it's the childlikeness in us, and it's the I am energy. I am here. I am present. I am here right now. It's very much this now energy. What can I do now? This action type fiery energy. And with Uranus now shifting from Aries into this one degree now that it is in, in Taurus, we've spent the last few years in this Arian energy from 2010, and you can see it on social media about sharing our stories, sharing what's been happening, sharing the ups and downs and trials and failures and successes of just daily living each other's lives, sharing our general authentic story seems to be the big theme that has been online, especially in Instagram world, um, is sharing your story. And while that's all well and good and that was done for the past seven years. We've mastered that and I have been feeling this the past year and a half. Like, yes, I share my story. Yes, I can share this, but there's got to be something more. And that's what this energy of the new moon and Uranus moving into Taurus is trying to help us do. It really wants you to, yes, we've shared our story, we've mastered how to do that, but how can we use this energy 
for the world, not just sharing ourselves. How can we use what we've come to know, the knowledge we've come to know through sharing our story, through getting to know ourselves more deeply? What skill sets do we have? What knowledge do we have that we can now show up and give to something greater, to the greater collective, rather than just this individual self? Obviously, focus on that too because you always need to be growing and learning for your individual self but how can you spread it out into the world and help rise up the the collective community the the community that you're surrounded by every day the wider community of the entire earth how can you show up and share your skills your knowledge right here and right now in a purposeful and authentic way and what's really cool is that there might be some hesitance, some fear, some um, lack mentality that will come up when you start to want to show your skills and your knowledge to the world, but the energy that is here right now for you is very, very supportive. If you show up to the table with what you have, you know, show up with what you've learned, what skill sets you do have and share them, there's going to be a party there waiting for you to help you, to really su support you. It's waiting to support you. The energy of the universe is waiting to support you, but it just wants to see, are you going to show up right here and right now? Are you going to show up with the skills that you have? Are you going to show up in the ways that you want to be showing up, whether it's going to the gym or switching a job or, you know, building a business or um, starting a coaching job, st becoming a yoga teacher, you know, any sort of things. Those are just the things that come into my head right now. But whatever it is that you say that you want to become, you want to be, now is the time for you to put in that action, that courageous right now, I am here right now action and take the steps, show up for whatever it is because the energy is there to support you but it needs to see you do this first. And if you're feeling heavy or stagnated it's because you you aren't taking the action so I really hope that this meditation that I give to you guys in this video will help you see where you need to take the action and will help you see what you need to get rid of so that you can blossom and shine and and show up for yourself and for the world and with this potential chaos that might be surrounding you of you needing to get rid of things and show up in this way and do these things there's beauty in the chaos remember we talk about this in the tarot card reading again if you haven't seen it link is in the description box below go watch that video after this meditation it is it may seem like a chaotic time it's this fiery new beginnings kind of time but the chaos is here to bring you into alignment it will it's giving you things to get rid of so that you can grow, so that you can step into that next vibration, that new level of yourself. And there might be this duality of go-getterness, but also needing to go deeply within. And that's really like where the shedding of the layers come. We try to get rid of so many things outside of us, but really the internal space is where we need to go in deeply and shed those layers that are holding us back, that are limiting us. Um, so there might be this duality of the go-getter and do it right here now in action, but also this need to more fully go inwards and, and see what's going on and shed the layers and integrate the lessons that need to be integrated. <sighs> so there's a lot happening lot of new beginnings. New moon, as you guys know, is a time to set goals. And with this being the Aryan energy, it is an amazing time to set goals because it is foundationally the energy is, I am here right now. This is a new beginning. So really set those goals and intentions after you do this meditation. It will help you with that. It will help you 
more fully blossom if you're like just a little bit away or if there's a lot of deeper layering and shedding that you need to do. I tried to make it very well rounded so that you guys can all learn from it, take something from it that you can bring with you through the end of this month into the full moon. <sighs> so without further ado, here is the meditation for you guys. Welcome to your new moon meditation. If you haven't already, please find a comfortable seated position, sitting upright, maybe using a chair or a couch to support your back if you need it. And once you have found that comfortable seated position, gently close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, let it go. Allowing yourself to settle into this space, into your meditation practice, letting go of all outside to-do lists, thoughts, opinions, images, and just becoming present right here and right now in your meditation practice. Taking another deep breath in through the nose, open the mouth, let it go. Arriving here, mind, body, and spirit. And take a deep breath in through the nose out through the nose, becoming present in this space of meditation with yourself, mind, body, and spirit. Just taking the next few moments, using your breath to arrive here. Taking whatever time you need to settle in. And to let go of any outside to do's, thoughts, judgments, stories, images. And just being right here, right now. Take in a deep breath through the nose, open the mouth, let go of any last things that may be pulling you away from being right here and right now. And from this space of stillness and presence, 
want you to bring the image of a small seed to your mind's eye. In your mind's eye, begin to visualize yourself holding this seed. Observing the seed, the shape, the color, the texture. Becoming mindful through all of your senses. while observing this seed. Observing the seed, getting to know the shape the color, the texture. Now within this seed, begin to imagine that this seed holds courage and compassion. Seeing this tiny light, life in this seed, holding courage and compassion. And take this seed in your hands, place it on your tongue, and swallow this seed of courage and compassion and visualize it moving all the way down your throat sinking deep down into the darkest parts of you. Sinking deeper and deeper into the depth. And in these darkest parts of you, the seed can take root, finding a nice space in the darkness to settle in and begin to root down into you. As this seed, the seed that holds courage and compassion, begins to nestle down and burrow inside the darkest parts of you, you can feel it begin to fill you with a little bit of courage, a little bit of compassion. Watching the seed begin to shoot out tiny roots, anchoring itself in the darkest parts of you, beginning to give you little glimpses of courage and compassion. And as these roots from your seed of courage and compassion begin to sink down deeper 
a sprout begins to move upwards. Tiny leaves sprout out. And soon a stem has formed and is growing upward. And as the stem grows upward, it allows you with courage and compassion to begin shedding layer after layer of stories, judgments, opinions, images, ideas that are no longer yours to carry. As the stem grows upwards, It breaks through those layers, allowing you to shed them. Pushing through these layers and breathing new energy into these spaces. Breathing courage and compassion into your body. And as these layers of old stories, judgments, emotions fall away, this seed continues to root you down, ground you down in courage and compassion. stem continues to rise, leaves uncurl from the stem, and soon a bud begins to grow on the top of the stem. Imagine this bud in your mind's eye. And inside this bud are all of your goals, dreams, and vision for your truest life. As you continue to allow this seed to root you down in courage and compassion, the more you focus on this courage and compassion as your root, the bud begins to swell bigger and bigger. The bud begins to swell bigger and bigger, bursting at the seams to bring all those goals, dreams, and visions into this earthly plane. And with this visualization of your beautiful seed coming to light, coming to a head, coming to this bud. Take a moment here to simply breathe and check in. This bud of all your dreams and goals and visions. Simply observe it as it is right here in this state. Begin to observe yourself 
Are you rushing the bloom, the manifestation of these big dreams and goals and visions? Are there any layers you still need to notice and let go of to allow this bud to bloom? Are you approaching this blossoming with fear, anxiety, or with courageous action and compassionate authenticity? In other words, is this bud, your dreams, your visions, your goals, are they ready to bloom in your life? Or is there still some work to be done? What do you feel? Taking the next few minutes to simply check in. And connect. with what's truly going on inside of you. Simply see what is without judgment or ego or attachment
deep breath in through the nose, out through the nose. And whatever arose is now your next step to take on this new beginning and bring that seed to full bloom. Maybe you found there's still layers to break through, old stories, emotional habits. Maybe there's some fear or anxiety to break through and let go of. So allow that to be your next step, to take on this new beginning. And if after this moment of observance of self, you feel you're ready to fully bloom, then continue to fertilize your soil, water your seed with courageous action and compassionate authenticity. Keep your intention strong to watch this seed bloom and burst open, bringing all of your dreams, visions, and goals into manifestation, into this earthly plane. Whoever you are, wherever you are, You now have your next step. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open your mouth and let it go. Relaxing into knowing your next step. is the right step for you. And take another deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, let it go. Bringing awareness to your fingertips and toes. drawing that movement and awareness of your fingertips and toes into wrists and ankles and bringing that movement up into your shoulders and neck Take in one more deep breath in through the nose, out through the nose, and when you're ready, gently open your eyes. Thank you guys so much for practicing this meditation. I hope that you can use the visualization, use what you've learned from this meditation to help you through this month, to help you through this new beginning Aryan energy. I can't wait to hear from you guys and see what you have to say about this meditation. Please remember that I am doing the social media detox, so I'm just going to be in here for the first hour after I've posted these videos, answering comments, but I hope that you guys will all share what you have learned, your messages, your insights, your experiences down below so that we can help this community rise. 
and I'm sending you so much love, so much gratitude, and so much courage to take action and fully shine your authentic self. I will see you in the next video.